What's up, guys? We're here at AMC Town Square with Chasing Cinema. James Shu, how are you, sir? Dot com. And we're here for the premiere of a few films. Yes. Dracula Untold and The Judge. So, what do you thinking about these two films. Well, I think that Dracula Untold is going to be exciting because if it's good, they want this to be the launch, basically, of their cinematic universe for mm. Universal. They want to do uh, The Mummy. They want to do uh, Frankenstein. They want to do Invisible Man. They want to do Dracula Untold, obviously. And then all of a sudden, if we all get along and Rodney King it, boom it, and basically cause the cinematic universe and be the Avengers part deuce. Mm -hmm. okay. So I don't know how well that's going to work out. Obviously, we're going to find out with the film, see how that is. And then with um, The Judge, we're going to see if Robert Downey Jr. can honestly have a hit outside of the Marvel Cinematic Universe. He's demanding more money for more Iron Man. Marvel is going to be using this as a stepping stone, I really think, to say, okay, if you really deserve more money, prove it with other films and, or else we're about to prove to you that you need us to make money. So. Okay, so I mean, I, I'm always talking about the money part. Yeah, you, you love the money. I can't blame you for that. But uh, for me, like I said, it always starts when I walk in the theater, ends when I walk out. Um, the judge, I think, is Robert Downey Jr. You know, attempt to do something a little bit different, a little bit out of his element. He has done a lot of the Marvel movies, also did the Sherlock Holmes series, a lot of the franchise type stuff, but not an opportunity to reel him get possibly an Oscar nomination or anything else to take him a little bit more seriously. So I think this is his attempt to do that. We have Robert Duvall, who's an amazing actor that might be a very good parallel for him. But Dracula Untold, I really haven't seen anything about it, I really don't know anything about it, but, um, and I don't even know what you were saying. I've never even heard of that. But if that's true, then I mean, I am a huge. I fan. don't need to make things up. No, this is true. Um, I, I am a huge fan of the Universal movie monsters from you know the 30s and the 40s, the original mummies, the original Jack does and things like that. Um, but this immediately brings me back to I Frankenstein. I Frankenstein was a film that they made and kind of redid something with an old time movie monster and did it really lazily and it was one of the worst films I've seen in quite some time. Uh, so I'm interested to see. Hopefully Jack gets a little bit better than Right before I Frankenstein. I Frankenstein, what did they have? They had another one too that wasn't. So they're tr they're trying to revive they're this. Trying to revive it's not working characters. and they're hoping that this is the launch pad for the new we'll we'll see. cinematic universe. <laughs> so we'll be back in basically, what, two hours? And we'll see how the movies are and let's go. Go from there. All right, so Dracula Untold, Chasing Cinema. Mr. Shu, can this be the launch of a new cinematic universe? Um, it might be, depending on how well it does in the box office, but I truly hope not. Uh, <laughs> Dracula Untold, was, it really was, we talked about I Frankenstein before, it really reminded me of that film. It was, they took, um, Frankenstein and Dracula Untold took these iconic pop culture figures right out of literature, um, these characters that we have known to love from, you know, Dracula has been in films as early as 1920s, see people always credit kind of Bela Lugosi's Dracula in 31, but there's even a Russian film called Dracula with K that they have resonated Dracula being, anyway, <laughs> all that now, you know. Um, they took him and made him a very boring and monotone, uninteresting character. Uh, to, to take a character like that and make him boring is, is just an incredible crime. Um, I really got nothing out of this film. I heard a few critics um, in our screen talk about how it was more of a popcorn flick, which I don't know why you wouldn't think it was a popcorn flick. However, I didn't find it fun at all. I couldn't even enjoy it. Um, there is a fellow critic whose uh, opinion I respect very much called a popcorn film. He enjoyed it, but me, it was not for me. I did not find anything fun. The only thing I found redeeming about this film was the score. I thought the score was incredibly well made and very, very perfect to fit the story of Dracula. Um, it, but it felt like it was pushing a dead body, if, if, if so to speak. It just was pushing something that couldn't be pushed. Um, the only thing Dracula and told... Go on. I was too late. <laughs> he said dead body, yeah, Dracula. Yeah. Wait, 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 I got one more. The only thing Dracula Untold, Dracula Untold should have remained untold. And wait. And the only thing it does right is suck the life right out of you. Those are, those are so Luke things. Evans, good actor, nah. You know, I, 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 don't, I can't blame all on Luke Evans because it feels like he had a character with nothing to work with. They're like, you're Dracula, you know, you want to bite people. But I honestly didn't think they give him anything to really work with. I'm not saying he's doing a bad job, but he really didn't enhance his character either. So, I mean, I think it's multiple elements just not working together. So with this tonality of this film, can it be great to see a cinematic universe be born? Again, you know, it goes to kind of your end of the spectrum where it's all about the box office. Will Jack and Untold do money? I think it probably will. Um, not much, but I think it might do enough for them to be like, hmm, maybe we could do a mummy movie. But, okay. I mean, with I Frankenstein and Dracula Untold, it's just destroying these legacies of these classic movie monsters. Okay, let's move on, move forward. Iron Man, can he survive outside of the Marvel Cinematic Universe? The Judge. Okay, 
So I'm gonna go on and quote an amazing filmmaker by the name of Martin Scorsese. There is a difference between plot and story. And story is kind of, to, to, to briefly explain, I can't explain as well as the master himself, but to briefly explain, story goes way beyond what the plot of a movie is. The plot is this, point A to point B. The story is about the characters before and after the film. You know, it goes on, it's more of an actual full circle type, um, well, Google it or YouTube it to find out because he explains it a lot better. But the problem with the judge is that it is just a plot, and it, it doesn't really care to create a story beyond what the plot is. Um, I feel like the story, as the trailers explain, are about a strange son trying to get along with his father, and I feel like everything literally gets in the way of what we want to watch, and that's Robert Downey Jr. and Robert Duvall clashing. The scenes that they do have together are amazing. They are electric. The, the, the chemistry they share um, sometimes can break your heart or make you laugh. I mean, it's incredible. But even the main plot of the film, of him trying to defend his father in a murder case, just feels like it's so unnecessary. It's like, alright, like, it becomes kind of a courtroom drama, but it just doesn't feel like effective in any way. It doesn't feel like it, it does, to me, I just honestly felt like all that got in the way. It could have just been a, fa a son going home after his mother's passing and dealing with his father. But instead there has to be a murder trial in it. And then there's this really, really uh, like total out of place subplot about him and a younger girl. I won't go into too much detail because I don't want to spoil anything, but it just doesn't fit. It's like this movie tries to be really dramatic and serious, and we have this really silly, childish, uh, lowbrow humor. She's very pretty, but the whole twist on it is, uh, I won't get into it. Um, <laughs> I mean, it, it just feels like it's in a low. It should be in a lowbrow humor, humor comedy, and it doesn't belong. Robert Downey Jr. is Robert Downey Jr. He has a lot of moments in that, and uh, the audience was laughing more than I thought should have been laughing. I thought there were some scenes where people were laughing, and I didn't think it was funny at all. Um, but I think that was I the may problem. I love this film. <laughs> I think the problem was that it tried to be more of a comedy, uh, like a comedy drama, like This Is Where I Leave You, even though it was obviously a very serious drama. But the director of the film did Shanghai Nights, Fred Claus. The comedy, wedding, comedy. The, wed well, the wedding crashers. Comedy. So I, I think he felt a little bit out of his element. And he felt that need to go back to that kind of comedy state, but I think it actually hurt the film more than anything. All right, chasingcinema.com slash the judge and chasingcinema.com slash Dracula Untold, and you can get all the full on review. Yes, and you can also read more of my stuff because I'm also the A and E senior staff writer of the Rebel Yell. So you can UNLV.com slash uh, UNLV Rebel Yell .com. And you just saw Wicked. I did see Wicked. Now, uh, my, my Wicked review actually be going in the Rebel Yell. Uh, I'm still taking it in, but I would recommend everyone to go see it. I, I was, it was the first time I saw it. I avoided it like the plague, avoided songs and everything so I could actually see it the first time. Recently seeing it, and I really enjoyed it. Uh, it just made me want to watch The Wizard of Oz again. But uh, to which, uh, keep your eye out for my review there, UNLVRebelYell.com. I love it. Facebook, Twitter, like and follow. Seven days from today, we are watching Fury. Brad Pitt. Brad Pitt Shia and Shia Blah. Shia LaBlah. Yeah, I'm not interested because of Shia He annoys me. Yeah, but come His on. His antics off it's screen. Brad Pitt, man, and Fury. I love Brad Pitt. I, I think this movie's gonna be strong. All I'll right. say it now. I think it's gonna be strong. And then we have The Book of Life. Book of Life. Which is a movie I might be the only one who's Dallas really, really Bell excited no. for. I'm really excited for that movie. All right. Zoe Saldana, Avatar. Let's yeah. do it. All right. All right, we'll Next be back week. seven days. Good movie. ShaneZimmer.com, film lovers, website.